The following review is not a paid or sponsored product promotion. Today we'll be reviewing the ModCat Flip Litter Box and the Sustainably Yours MultiCat Cat Litter. But first, let's backtrack a little bit before we adopted May. We only had about four days to get cat supplies, so we ran out to our local Petco and picked up this random pink litter box. It never actually got any usage before the one from Chewy finally arrived. We opted for the top entry litter box because it helps keep litter tracking down a lot compared to a standard front entry. Unfortunately, our dumb baby cat would either step on her poop inside of it or would get confused and jump on it to use as a bolster to then jump into our bathtub. So, instead of the litter going back inside the litter box, it was going inside our bathtub. After about two weeks of this, I decided to go back to standard side entry, but we needed a box with high walls because May enjoys scrubbing the bejesus out of the sides of the litter box. After some googling and thanks to Christmas sales, I decided to get the ModCat Flip, which even after the sale was still $70. Very expensive. So the entire gimmick of ModCat and why it's so expensive is that it has this fancy hook and hanging liner system so that the box never gets scratched or dirty. Wow. However, you still have to clean this annoying flimsy liner, and if you have a wall scrubbing cat like I do, they'll probably just tear the liner down or rip it apart and even possibly annoy themselves enough to not to use the litter box. I've had cats for many years, and litter box liners have never worked the way they should. Cats don't care that you put some plastic bag inside their box. They will poop and pee where they want to, and now you have to clean more things than you need to. With this in mind, soon as I unboxed everything, I promptly threw the liner into the trash. I kept the hooks in case they never come handy for something, but I will never buy or use the insanely expensive liners that come with ModCat. Additionally, I used the ModCat scoop for about two months before buying a huge stainless steel scoop instead. Not only can the scoop hold clumps better, because it's larger, but stainless steel doesn't harbor bacteria like plastic does. Additionally, while the ModCat scoop is meant to attach on the side of the box, ultimately all the crap on it would just, you know, fall back on my floor. Um, instead, I opted out for a litter box scooper holder, rendering the entire idea completely pointless. Good design, ModCat, but just not very practical. Cleaning the ModCat litter box is very simple, especially without the liner. I basically clean out the box once every two weeks, though the recommendation is only once a month. It really depends on how many cats you have and the type of litter. Now that I made the full switch to sustainably yours, a lot less things stick to the litter box, so I plan to just fill it up and clean once a month as the litter is quite expensive. How I clean the box? is I use Nature's Miracle Litter Box Wipes to scrub off any old litter stuck to the sides or bottom. Next, I follow up by cleaning with Nature's Miracle Stain and Odor Remover. And finally, I finish up by using 7th generation dish soap to get all the smelly chemicals washed out and then I rinse it out into the toilet. By then, all the cat urine has been washed out, so essentially I am only dumping soapy dish water down the toilet rather than filling the septic system with toxoplasmosis. Ha ha ha! Once the litter box is cleaned up, I pour in the litter. Because Sustainably Yours is a corn cassava litter, when I pour it, there is zero dust. However, if you use clay-based litter, you're going to get a cloud of dust in your face, so be sure to wear a mask. Or alternatively, use a large scoop to scoop it slowly into the box, one scoop at a time. Also, if your cat is particularly smelly, you might want to put baking soda on the bottom of the litter box before you pour the litter in. Unfortunately, my cat has a baking soda allergy and her eyes will start watering if I put any baking soda into the litter box. So now we've been avoiding it. But the good thing is about Sustainably Yours is it's actually a good litter that um, absorbs odors. Um, in fact, my cat pooped today and I didn't even realize she pooped because she buried it so well and I smelled nothing. So I can tell you right now, it's actually a very good litter, which is actually part of this review. But anyway, if you do have a bad litter or a cheap litter, you might need to use baking soda on the bottom. So now that we've discussed Mod Cat, let's talk about Sustainably Yours cat litter. The litter is crazy expensive, costing nearly $2 a pound. It's a natural litter that is also flushable, but I honestly don't think anyone should be flushing their cat crap down the toilet. Especially not in California, because that's actually illegal. It clumps very well, and is fine-grained, almost like beach sand. There are larger grains mixed in, but they do have a fine grain or large grain only options if you prefer one over the other. The large grains are supposed to lessen the tracking, but I find that they don't actually do anything except stick to my cat's nose when she's confirming whether or not her waist still smells after she fruitlessly scrubs on the walls instead of the litter. My favorite part is the really tight clumps because they are so tight they don't break apart like the other corn litter I tried, which was called world's best, but I actually think it's the world's worst. Because the clumps are tight, they use up less litter, so essentially the litter doesn't get dirtied with little leftover clumps like it would when I used clay. This means the box stays fresher and the litter lasts longer, so the price isn't too bad considering this factor. The one thing I absolutely hate though is the tracking. It tracks everywhere, and if you don't have a good litter mat, it will track all over your floor and carpeting. 
Fortunately, I got this great eye premio litter mat that catches a lot of the grains when May leaves her box. Now I only have one cat, and it's not too bad, but I think if you have multiple cats and a box that isn't enclosed, your cat box area might start to look like a beach very quickly. But let's be real, all litter is going to track. I don't find that this tracks any more or less than clay litter, but because of the zero dust, my cat's forehead no longer constantly reeks of clay. Additionally, when I am done cleaning, I notice my mask no longer smells like clay either. When I was using Dr. Elsie's clay litters and I tried kitten attract and respiratory relief, I had to change my paper mask on a daily basis because just sifting the litter around after cleaning would send a cloud of dust in my face. So to conclude, is this setup worth it? While I do love the high walls of the Mod Cat, considering you do have to completely change your plastic litter box every couple of years, I don't feel like the price is worth it. There are other enclosed and high wall litter boxes out there that are half the price. While I do love the convenience of the flip top, but because I don't use the liners, I'm not really getting the full money's worth. As far as the litter is concerned, it really depends on your tolerance for clay dust and whether or not your cat has allergies. Until we switched to this litter, May had about 3 eye infections in 2 months because of all the clay litter dust. Once we switched, the discharge from our eyes reduced significantly. So for us, the switch was worth it because paying a little bit more for litter saves us a lot of bills for vet visits and eye medications. I will put the links to all the products in this video in the description so feel free to check them out. Thank you for watching and I hope this video has been helpful to you and your fur baby.